back everybody. Just doing another video and I'm filming another right now. I'm just riding around right now. Just chilling. But I found this like little mini fucking like what the hill not the hill, I don't know what the, the canyons. The canyons are in Cali, but like a mini version, like literally like one or two miles long here. It's really fun. But now I'm just running around. It's a little windy and a little cold, so I'm not like locked in, but I kinda wanna go on the highway actually. I can't get in, it's fine. What is that, bro? It looks like a fucking GTA 5 vehicle. But anyways, right now, I'm just running around. I don't really have anywhere to go. But, um, today's quote of the day, I don't remember if I've ever done this one before, I don't think I have, but today's quote of the day is, Sorry, I had to lock in. Uh, Today's quote of the day is comparison is the thief of joy. I don't think I've ever said that one before. I think I made a short on it, like a YouTube short or like a short form video, but I don't think I've ever said it in a video. So yeah, that's the quote of the day. Comparison is the thief of joy. Don't compare yourself to other people, whether it is what you look like, what you have, how you talk, whatever, I don't know. Whatever you compare yourself to other people. It's not good for you because all it does is just make you ungrateful for the things that you have. When there's, like realistically, there's millions, maybe even billions of people that have it off worse than you do. Like most likely there is probably billions of people who have, who are in a worse situation than you are and like would do anything to have your life. And you're comparing yourself to someone just because they have I don't know, cooler clothes than you, or like, I don't know, whatever it is. There's a lot of different ways you can compare yourself to people, but be grateful for the things you have because there's other people who would do anything to be in your position. Literally anything. I could sit here and compare myself to someone who has like a, a thousand and be like, oh, he's so much faster than me, or his bike is like so much cooler, or whatever you want to say, but. There's people who wish they could even get on a motorcycle in general, let alone an R6, bro, you know? So, I don't want to bother me. And I and I also think in the future, like, I'll probably get one eventually. So what's the point of comparing myself to someone who has one now and feeling like shit about it? If I'm going to maybe do it in the future, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Just watch how you talk to yourself and how you compare yourself to others, because it can really hurt you. And it can really kind of like taint the accomplishments that you have because you've worked hard to get where you are right now. And comparing yourself to other people who maybe haven't worked as hard just because they had it off better when they first started is not something fair to do to yourself, you know? So yeah, just realize that you can always improve, but that just because you're behind, quote unquote, behind someone else, doesn't mean that they're better than you. It just means that you have, that you get 
to get into a better position with your life. Like most people, like a lot of people can't even improve their life if they, even if they wanted to, bro. Like some people are just like hard stuck. Oh, hell no, what is this? Some people are just like hard stuck in their, in their situation. Why is it going so slow, bro? What is this? Why is everybody matching, bro? That fuck? But yeah, you get to you get to improve your life. You still have an opportunity to do so. Some people don't. So take it as a blessing that you get to become better and better and better and better. But anyways, now it's time to ride, dude. Let's go. We're just riding around, bro. I kind of want to go back to that like little twisties I found. It's not really a twisties. There's like two turns and then just like straight road. It's fun, bro. It was fun. I don't really know where I'm going now. I'm just kind of riding around, but... Yeah. I think this guy was on a moped. He was just, like, chilling, going slow, I guess. I thought he was on a moped because he was going, like, 30. But I guess he just didn't realize how fast he was going. I don't know, bro. It'd be like that sometimes, though. Sometimes i just be on, like, want to go slow, dude. And then other times I have like zoomies and I want to go fast. Look at this dog. What's up, doggy? What are you looking at me like that for, huh? I cannot even explain how much riding like drastically increases my mood. It's actually insane. Like how much better I feel after I ride. It's just, oh my gosh. It's like, in, it's just wild how much better I feel after I ride. I need to turn right up here, but there's a person like right here. So I just, should I just go? I'm just gonna go. Tobias. Lane. Go down Sunset. This road is like this road is cool. This road is cool. I miss those twisties though. I want to go back, but it's kind of far now. I've been riding for like two hours already, and it has felt like 20 minutes literally. I'm just, I'm just out here chilling, bro. Oh. Oh. This thing is so fast. It doesn't look fast on like YouTube and like on camera, but bro, this thing is so fast. Compared to like what I like what I used to drive, like like on Ultima, like a Nissan Ultima, bro. Oh my god, this thing is like so fast. Even when I do get in the Ultima and I drive sometimes, I'm like, bro, this thing, this thing is like a snooze fest compared to the R6, bro. I'm glad I got the R6. Honestly, I don't even know if if I would have enjoyed getting a 1000. Because I was going to. But I don't even know if I would have enjoyed it, to be honest. Because, yeah, it's like, they're like so fast. But I also get to like rev out the R6, you know? And it's like on a 1000, bro. They're just so fast on the street that you have to... You can't like rev it out, bro. Like the R1 literally goes, what, like 90 miles an hour in first gear, bro? So with that logic, you can't even rev out first all the way through first gear on the highway without committing a felony, bro. 
Which, I mean, you know, I still be doing some wild shit on here. I'm not gonna say wild, but I be do I still be doing some shit on here. But like, on the R1, it would be hard to even like enjoy it, bro. Yours can go fast, but mine can go anywhere. What does that even mean, bro? Are you beefing with me? Are you insulting me? It's like the biggest turn land on in Earth right here, dude. Damn. on this road because there's always like the cops be lurking over here bro they be lurking the video I recorded like four days ago or three days ago I saw like three cops in the video or something in one ride bro three cops in like 15 minutes that is five, one cop every five minutes that's a big ratio of coppers to rider A cool spot to record some shorts at. I don't know where though. Where is like a cool spot? I don't know, but the sunset tonight is about to be insane. I already know it, dude. It, it's about to be crazy. Because there's like hella clouds right here. And there's like no clouds behind me where the sun's gonna set. It's gonna be wild. But I already rode it. This sounds like an set for like another hour and a half probably. I don't know if I want to ride for another hour and a half. Bro just stepping across the road. What's up, big man? I got a Geo Metro. Truck smells like it's like farting. It smells like gassy. Oh, 
is like flying off my face. The wind is like trying to take my helmet off, dude. Chilling at the light. Ooh, that'd be kind of a cool spot up there. Eh, I don't know. Why do they remove the curb? I'm just gonna. I, I'm gonna learn how to take like clips from my videos and make them into short form clips, like videos. Ooh, it's so smooth. I'm not trying to race you, bro. Chill. Why is that girl flying? Damn, she got somewhere to be, bro. Alright, well, that was a fun ride, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed the quote of the day. Remember, don't be too harsh on yourself. Don't be comparing yourself too much to others. With that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Be safe, spread some love, and peace out, guys. Bye.